disappointing result. What did you make of, of that performance this evening? Yeah, uh, certainly a very disappointing result because obviously we wanted to get through to the next round. Um, uh, as far as the performance is concerned, there were some good things about it, um, especially first half when I felt as if we were, were very much well in the game. Um, second half, we obviously got off to a great start, but then uh, we, we conceded three really poor goals in the second half, um, all preventable. All, all things that we would like to think that we wouldn't make those kind of mistakes. But uh, they, they certainly cost us. I, I don't think the the result was a fair reflection on the game overall. Obviously, we, we had a big moment uh, uh, at 2-1 uh, at down when uh, when Sepp Haller had the fantastic overhead kick. And, and if it's either side of Jordan, then it probably uh, it probably goes in. But... Uh, that, that, as I say, was one big moment, but the, probably the next big moment was, was conceding the third goal. It's um, the, the second of two games that, second of third, sorry, third game you've now been left in charge uh, without the manager there. How, how difficult has it been working uh, with him in isolation? Well, look, it, the fact is that every club needs a manager. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, we have, we have replacements for players in, in all the positions, but nobody has a replacement for the manager and and clearly um you know players players get proper answers from from the manager i'm not able to answer a lot of things that, that players might be be asking about uh, because um, i don't have that that role that responsibility so it's it's one of those situations where we we will certainly get on and do the best that we can and we'll try and pass the messages on that the manager wants passed on but uh in the end we need David back as, as soon as we can. And, and I, I said that after the result against Wolves at the weekend, so I'm not just saying that because of the result today. And finally, I know you can't answer this directly because it's not your, your sort of role within the club, but from what David's told you, have you had um, any inkling that you might have a couple of new players to work with before too long? Um, well, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't think there's anything just just happening right at this moment. But, but uh, you know, one of the things that David has been able to kind of focus on is is, uh, is looking for players at this particular time, and and is is uh, asked us as a coaching staff to to kind of have a look at a few players. But I, I don't know any of the detail about um, about where we are with with regards to any signings. I'm afraid. I, I, I keep on saying to people, I'm not sure, and you know that's been, that's applied to players and, and certain things as as well, you know. So, uh, I, I I'm sorry, I can't I can't answer that. Thanks, cheers, Jack. Alan. Thank you. Um, cheers, Jack. Ian, I believe. So I'm looking from a distance. Ian Parker, is it? Hi, Alan. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Ian. Yeah, um, you mentioned um, you know the first half being a stronger performance. Were you disappointed defensively with, with the goals? It certainly looked like um, with the, the second goal, Richarlison was given far too much sort of time and space to cut in uh, from the left. Oh, totally. Um, I, I've, I have mentioned already uh, that that I was bitterly disappointed with the way we defended for all three of the goals in the second half, um, but. As you rightly say, um, Richarlison was given an opportunity to cut in. That was something that we talked about in the build-up to the game. That uh, you know everybody knows that that's his preferred side to go to. Look, don't get me wrong; he'll go on the outside as well. But um, the the type of player he is, he he wants to come in and he wants to open up these these shooting opportunities, and and that that shouldn't have been allowed. Uh, but uh, it, it was, and he, he got the benefit of the big deflection, but we should have stopped that earlier. OK. Thanks. Sam Ingersoll. Oh, yeah, sorry, Alan, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Sam. No, sorry, I, I had my microphone on mute. Um, I know it's not your decision, um, it was at David's overall, but even at 2-1 down today, 3-1 down today, didn't make any substitutions throughout the game. Yeah. Um, what was your reasoning behind, or what was David's reasoning, I suppose, behind? Uh, well, um, well, look, the, we've we've ended up with uh, we've obviously first of all got a group of players who have done well in the previous games in in, in this competition, and uh, 
and they have, they have been looking for their opportunity to show what they can do against a Premier League team because you, you get a situation where um, you, you, you perform well against a, a couple of League One teams and, and people say, well, it's not really fair to, to judge them on that and they don't perhaps get the credit that they, they deserve. Um, so it was, uh, it was, we were certainly mindful of the fact that those boys deserve to get another good run out um, to, to play. And, and of course, they're all first team players. You know, you're talking about players who uh, have played a lot of games at this level and players who are internationals. Um, so, uh, you know, and players who came to the, the club for a lot of money. So uh, it certainly wasn't a case of, of fielding a weakened team. Um, there were also some players who we just needed to, to kind of protect a little bit, look after, because of, uh, of what's coming up uh, as far as the league's concerned. So, so those, those, were, those were reasons. Um, we, we felt, in any case, at 2-1, that we were very much still in the game. Uh, Seb's overhead kick uh, illustrated that. Yarma had a chance with a header just towards the, the back post. So it wasn't a case of thinking that oh, we're, we're out of this now, you know, at that stage. Unfortunately, the, the third goal, um, coming 15 minutes to go, uh, probably made it a, a real struggle for us. And uh, as I said already, you know, by that stage, you're wondering whether you, you should take a chance with one or two other players who, who we were trying to protect. Thanks, everyone. We'll leave it there because I think Carlo's trying to come in as well. Thank you.